Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Melissa. Today I wanted to do a 10 minute holiday glam look, I guess you, sh you could say. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload a video. Let's get into this video. Okay, so I always wash, exfoliate, moisturize my skin. I put on some chapstick, make sure I have my under eye cream so that I have a nice smooth. Okay, I wanna do this in under 10 minutes, so let's set the timer. Um, because of that, I'm not going to fast forward or cut this video so you can actually see how long it takes me to do this look. First thing I do is put on my primer. This is the Becca Backlight Highlighting Primer. I can't remember the exact name. I put it on the screen for you. Um, but I just go ahead and put a little squirt of that on my fingertips, rub that all on my face. Um, I try to focus more on the areas where I want it to be a little more glowy, like my cheeks and my forehead. Not so much um, my nose and chin area. So I go ahead and dab that in. And I know it looks like I'm looking at sometimes the camera or sometimes the mirror. I'm just trying to figure out how to do this because I've never really filmed anything like this before. Um, now I use this professional uh, primer. I use this in the areas where I have larger pores just to kind of help camouflage because I know this is going to be a quick look so I'm not going to have enough time to put on a ton of makeup so I just kind of want to <laughs> spackle this in to the pores around my nose, my chin, um, and make sure that it looks as smooth as possible before I put on my foundation. So I just dab that in. I don't use a, a beauty blender at this point because I think the warmth from the fingertips kind of helps the product blend into my face a little better. So now, what am I doing? I can't even see what I'm doing. Oh, okay, now I'm going in with my foundation. It's a, it's a CC cream from IT Cosmetics and I really like it because it's buildable but it it doesn't give you that um, really like cakey full coverage look um, but it's still kind of full coverage if that makes any sense so I just dab on um, dab on my foundation on my face and at first I'm gonna use my hands to rub it in and kind of get it I mean not so much evenly distributed but just kind of spread along my face I'm gonna avoid my under eye area because I I'm a mature woman. I don't want to have any creases under my eyes. And this is what I have found works best to prevent, you know, that like creasy, liney look under your eyes when you put on foundation and your concealer and your powder. So I just avoid that area altogether. Now what I'm going to do, since I have it all um, spread evenly on my face, now I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and I'm just gonna like quickly dab that all over my face just to kind of blend everything in, blend it into the hairline. And it also helps pick up any extra product off my face to prevent my face from looking cakey. Now, since this is a quick look, I am I still want it to look glam, but I'm not trying to go for like a full, full face, full coverage look. I still want it to look like my skin. I want to somewhat look natural but pretty I guess if that makes any sense so I'm just going to keep on blending that in until I look like a ghost now that that's done it's time to use my concealer I just use this on um, the hollows is that what it's called hollows of my eyes so I just dab it right where I have um, that shadowing I don't really have under eye circles per se but I do have under eye bags because of you know well I'm not 20 anymore oops sorry about that um, so I just dab that in with my finger I kind of start from the inner corner of my eye and then drag the product out towards the outer corner of my eye um, and I think that works best for me so I do that on both sides and then an, an additional step that I do is I take the damp beauty blender and use that to kind of help 
even the under eye concealer out a little bit more um, and I because I have the hollows under my eyes and little creases I want to make sure that I get any excess product off so that it doesn't crease so I just dab that a little bit with my beauty blender and then to set my under eye area I use this new technique I no longer use under like under eye powder or um, translucent powder but I use my setting spray so I just spray that right onto my beauty blender and then I use that to set my under eye and let me tell you it works so good my under eyes don't crease it doesn't look dry and cakey I can't remember who like which youtuber I watch do this um, but I definitely did not discover this on my own I watched someone online do it and I tried it out and it works great for me so give it a try see if that works for you um, now that the under eyes are set now I'm gonna take a little bit of translucent setting powder and this just goes everywhere else forehead cheeks nose chin I kind of try to focus it on the areas where I tend to get a little more shiny or a little more a little more oily which is in my t-zone just use a tiny bit because a, a little goes a long way and I don't really want a super matte look I still kind of want to look glowy since I'm not going to be doing um, you know like a dramatic eye or anything and you definitely want to avoid or at least I avoid putting this in my under eye area because remember I already set it with the setting powder so once that is all on now I'm going to move on to my eyelid primer and get ready for my eyeshadow. Okay, I don't know about you, but my eyelids get, I don't know if it's greasy or oily or what the deal is, but I notice that if I don't use an eyelid primer before I put eyeshadow on, then my eyeshadow gets um, like creased and it just looks really bad. So. I use this Morphe eyelid primer. It just really honestly takes a little tiny dab of it. And I just spread that evenly on my eyelid, pat it in there, and it doesn't take long to dry. It like basically dries instantly. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start with my eyeshadow. And since I am gonna do a bold lip, I'm gonna keep my eyeshadow pretty light, um, neutral, nude colors which is my go-to anyways. This is basically what I do all the time because I don't know, I'm not really a huge risk taker when it comes to my eyeshadows and makeup look. If you would like to see me try to do a, a bold dramatic eye sometime, comment below and I'd be happy to give that a whirl for you. So I just use a basic, um, what color is this? like a, a beige, a light beige color, skin tone colored, I guess, just to kind of even out the any discoloration that I might have on my eyelids, which I do. And then I'm gonna go in with the darker color to put into my crease area. And I like to mix them both, the kind of like the matte, um, what is that, cafe color, and then I use the sparkle chai, kind of mix those together, tap off the excess, and then I go ahead and put that on my, let me get this eye booger out first, apparently, all right, here we go, back in with the eyeshadow. This just goes into the crease and I just try to, normally I would blend like forever till my arm hurts, but I only got 10 minutes, I'm trying to get somewhere, so I'm just going to do a quick easy job and I think it works best when you don't have to blend that much if you use neutral colors. Um, it's a little less forgiving if you use, you know, bold, darker colors. So I just pop some of those, pop some of those, pop some of that color in the eye there just to warm it up. I think that's kind of funny. I use a light color to take all the color off my eyelid and then I'm going to put some warm color back on. Anyways, isn't being a girl fun? I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to take a lighter color. And this is going to go like in the corners of my eyes, above my, like my, under my eyebrow arch. But the best thing to do that I like to do, especially with a go like an out, a going out look, is I spray my brush with my setting powder and that kind of helps it, um, helps the color be more pigmented. 
So I just put a little bit under my brow bone. Is that what it's called? Brow bone there? And then I like to put a little bit on the inner corner of my eyes and that kind of helps me look a little more awake and also gives it like a little festive, little party look, a little sparkle there. So just dab a little, little bit there. And that setting spray really helps the color not only stick but really pop and be a little more um, noticeable because without it, it just kind of looks like a I don't know you can it doesn't even really show I know it's hard to see because I have my, my windows open to the right of me I just went and closed some of the some of the shutters and apparently it didn't help so let's just get on with it what am I doing next it's so hard doing these voiceovers because you don't really know what's coming up next in the video ah we're gonna do some contouring some bronzing a little bit of both we're not going to do exact contouring just make a fish face and put those in the hollows of your cheeks to give it some dimension I always go up to my temple from a cheek up to my temple just blend it in it's not doesn't need to be an exact science or precisely placed just slap it on there and blend it in Take that up to the temples. Go ahead and do the forehead. See, even though I kind of rushed uh, through the contouring, it doesn't look too bad actually from this angle. Get that double chin. Disappear, disappear, come on. All right, blend a little bit more. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now I think I'm moving on to blush. You gotta put some color back into your cheeks. Where is it? I know I'm looking for it. I just got a new uh, Tarte blush that I really love. Ah, there it is. Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. This one works really good because I've noticed, I use this other, um, this other blush that I was using for a long time and I would put it on and within a few hours it was already faded and this stuff stays on. Like it really does stay on 12 hours and I really like this color. I can't remember what this color is called. I mean, I guess I could look on the packaging, but it's not in front of me at the moment. So I just put that on the apples of my cheeks and then kind of blend it up and blend it into that um, contouring and the bronzing. And now this, I really like this part. Ah, highlight, champagne pop. This is like iconic, right? I love this color. It's really flattering on every skin tone. Um, I use it, my daughter uses it, and her skin tone, she's a little bit uh, warmer tone than I am, and it looks really good on her too. So since this is a glam look, and my eyes are pretty neutral, I'm going to go in with this highlighter. Place that on um, the upper cheekbones. I usually bring it up into, like just below my temples, put a little bit above my eyebrows. And then I like to put a little in the inner corner of my eyes as well. It kind of helps that that white shimmer color pop even more and kind of, you know, highlight when I'm turning my head. Put a little on the nose, a little on the cupid's bow. Ooh, there we go. Shine, girl, shine. All right, what am I doing now? Ah, now I'm going to set my face. I do this before my lipstick. I feel like... If I put my lipstick on, oh, get it. If I put my lipstick on and then I do the setting spray, it makes my lips feel weird, I think. So I'm just gonna line it. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Liner. And I know this isn't the color of my lipstick, but I feel like using a nude colored liner just kind of, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I just like to do it this way. I like to use a nude color liner no matter what lip color I'm using. And there we go. And now I'm going in with this lip paint. Now I've never worn a red lip before and I've always wanted to. I've never been able to find the right red color, the, the right um, hue or tone for me. But this color I think looks really good. So I like to use, I flip the applicator around and I use the corner edge of it to kind of line around my lip. 
it allows me to be a little more precise with my strokes. And I'm, I am going to overline my lip a little bit because, you know, I have little tiny lips and I would like them to look a little juicy. So here I go, lining my lip. This color really um, dries nicely. It doesn't look super flat. Make sure it's all nice and even and then take away the excess just like so. Got rid of all that. I think that's all I'm doing with my lips actually. That was pretty quick. Oh yeah, that's right. The brow setter. Now I have my eyebrows microbladed and I have eyelash extensions obviously so that cuts down on my time dramatically because I don't even have to do my eyebrows or my eyelashes. So I'm just using this uh, brow setter gel to brush my... <laughs> I, I totally said that weird. Brow setter gel. The brow setter gel to brush my eyebrows up. And then I'm just going to brush through my lashes to make sure I get any, any excess product that was in there. And get them nice and straight. Oh, there we go. And I think that's the finished look. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time that I upload a video. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.